good morning. Welcome back to Casa Texpina. We're on build day number 166. As you can see, we're not at the site this morning. Um, we're headed to San Fernando. Um, car needs an oil change. So we'll be off site this morning for, for a little bit. Um, however, the guys are still on site and getting, getting things started this morning. Um, when we get back to the site, we'll pick up where we left off. So let's get started. So we're at the Ford place. The, um, our appointment was for 0800 uh, when they first opened up. So we got here a little bit early, uh, first in line. Uh, hopefully they get it through quickly. Um, Miss Emmy's way down at the end, waiting for uh, her service advisor to come in. Uh, and then they will process us to uh, get the car taken care of and serviced. This is one of the uh, services required under the, uh, the maintenance um, and warranty. Um, so, from my understanding, if we don't take it back to the dealer for the uh, warranty uh, work or the um, the maintenance work, then they can void the warranty. So we have to bring it here. This is the first one also for the, since we've owned the car. Uh, so we've had the car since December, and. Um, the way the new engine is on the the new Ford uh, Everest, which is a um, a Ranger-based uh, SUV, they told us that um, it was good for 10,000 miles, oh, 10,000 kilometers, or one year. Uh, when we came in the other day uh, to pick up our license plates and get those put on, they're like, "Have you had your oil changed yet?" And we're like, "No, it's not. It hasn't been a year yet." And they're like, "Oh no, it needs to be every six months." And I was like okay so we're here and we're getting that changed uh, so we'll uh, let you guys know how things go so laos group owns uh most of the uh car groups car companies that are here in the pampanga region um big dollars lots of uh car companies uh, represented in their service departments it should be first come first serve um, however when you get in they do one thing at a time, slowly as can be. Uh, we came in for oil change, tire rotation, warranty check, and um, during the warranty check, they also mentioned that, hey, there's a recall and a uh, computer update. Well, to do the computer update, they've got one laptop way in the back, and because ours had an oil change first, ours is now waiting on the other vehicle. Um, been sitting here waiting probably a good hour at least. We got here at 8 a.m. Um, it took them an hour to do the uh, tire change, oil rotation, or the tire rotation and oil change. And now, since about nine o'clock, it's been waiting uh, for the uh, laptop to become available for the uh, software update. So here we wait, here we see what happens. Um, hmm. trying to keep patience as we're working close to 10.30. Been here two and a half hours just for an oil change, tire rotation, and warranty check. Well, we'll get back out to the site as soon as possible. Stay tuned. All right, the uh, oil change, tire rotation, warranty service ended up going from 8 a.m. until noon um, so that's uh, where we spent the morning uh, we're headed back down to uh, and or head back up to Mabalaga so we can get back to the job site um, would like to say thanks to um, Bill Mills the uh, he was the customer service manager um, came out and talked to us for quite an extended period of time uh, explaining what the delay is um, the so the delay why it was taking quite so long their service department is equipped with three laptops and uh, that are capable of doing the ACM updates however they have to be connected uh, by cable uh, to the OBD2 sensors uh, to be able to do those push those updates 
problem is two of the three are down and have a hard time getting the parts back in for the maintenance um, so that means they're down to just one and they're doing a big push on the updates for all the ranger based platforms especially with the raptors the one that have the uh the raptor engines in it that's the uh 2.0 liter bi-turbo diesels and the uh top of the line uh everest like what we have has that as well the same engine um so they're having to do a, a big push on the updates and it just takes a while especially when you've only got one computer and one connection at a time that can take care of it so with a little bit of patience uh, we have made it through that ordeal and are uh, going ahead and heading back to the site so uh, we've got to stop the grocery store on the way and then we'll be back out there shortly so we'll see you guys out at the site momentarily all right folks we're finally back out on site today a little after lunch um, so I'm not going to bother with a secondary intro. We're just going to go ahead and start walking around and see what everybody's been working on today. Let's go. All right, out in the front, the uh, painters are still continuing to work on the uh, body filling for the uh, fence grills. Still working on skim coating for the uh, exterior wall cladding. <clears throat> Continuing to work on um, getting the panels plumbed and ready, conduit, so this is all still rough in material. Let's go ahead and look inside. Okay, inside the uh, kitchen area, they're starting to prep the temporary door for the um, dirty kitchen area. Uh, so we're gonna use this as a, as a storage location um, for some equipment and appliances as we start buying them a little bit at a time. We are cleaning the door, getting it ready to install as a temporary door. They will put a lock on it sometime next week. Okay, let's go look out the back. Out in the back over next to the Kubo. The septic tank area. They've started, uh, they broke out the caps uh, for where the, the manholes are at. So as you can see, a man can fit in the hole. So Mr. Red Horse number one over here. <laughs> is uh, also working on taking out the forms from the inside of the, uh, the inside of these chambers. All right, so they're working on the insides. Let's go see what else is going on inside the house. Oh wait, just before that, so our plumber and our um, water filtration installation guy, both of them ha were here this morning while we were uh, taking care of the vehicle. And they've got, they've got together and reconfigured how this layout here is going to work. Uh, so we're still at the one meter depth, four meters wide. Um, so that you can see they moved the storage, uh, the uh, inlet pipe back a little bit. So this is where the, all the water comes into the system. So they moved it back up against the wall. This is a overflow drain from the storage, um, from the pressure tank, so overflow drain. And that's gonna go into the storm drain because it's just water, nothing but water. And then the outflow pipes are going to go to the inlet for the whole cold water loop system and the inlet for the cold water supply to the solar hot water heater which is going to be on the other side all right now let's go inside and see where everybody else has been working all right so the big reveal for today mr jojo is working on the bathroom wall tile for up here in the media room all by a single light bulb so we've got the textured wall on the back. Then they're doing design down the front. Cutting each piece to match. So we're working this with um, cement and tile adhesive. Putting it up against the side. Putting it into place. We will come back later and grout it. Notice they do have nails 
that are holding the spacing for the grout at a later point. All right, it's time for Saturday afternoon shout outs. Uh, let's start off with top of the list. We got Matt, new subscriber from London, UK. Rob S, originally from Mabalaka, just down the street here. Jerry Bass from New York. Willie Mendoza from, from Oak Harbor, Washington. Joseph Davigos from La Union. Mr. Hugo Stas from Finland. And Mr. Paulo Abalos from Texas. A big thank you for the new intro. You guys make sure to check out his Instagram where he uploads his latest uh, 3D renderings uh, at underscore Paulo, P A U L O Abalos, A B A L O S. That's on Instagram, underscore Paulo Abalos. I'll make sure to leave that in the right there at the bottom of the screen you'll see it scrolling across and one last final shout out a big shout out to my nephew bernard ryan leakup on his birthday today happy birthday ryan doing a temporary hanging on the uh, door in the kitchen dirty kitchen be able to use this area for storage. Smiths are back up on top. They are working on the edge. We are starting to put in the roofing material from the lower downhill side of the gutter over the top of the Sanepa. It's over the top of the fascia board there. So yesterday they put in the fascia flashing down this section. Today they're going to come back and put the uh, roofing material from the downhill side of the gutter to the over the top of the fascia board.
right, it's Jabba Dabba Do Time. Saturday, payday. You guys are wrapping up, with the exception of the tinsmiths. They will stay here as long as it is daylight. Um, we continue working the fascia flashing and the lower piece of the roofing material from the lower gutter over the sanepa or over the flashing the fascia board. All right. Um, inside had something special, something new today, and that was putting on our first set of wall tile. Uh, so they started up in the media room. Uh, Mr. Jojo was working on that. Uh, so we got a taste of uh, wall tiling today. Whew. Had an interesting uh, run to the car dealership this morning. Um, all in all, if you're going to go to the car dealerships, make sure you have plenty of time. Do not be in a rush. Uh, you'll only end up frustrated at the end. So, um, Knowing that going forward, it'll help out quite a bit and it'll ease your frustration level. So you go in there and you're like, okay, this is going to take a while. Okay, it's done. So, all right, enough said on that. If y'all like today's video, please give us a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of these videos, hit the Casa Texpina star right over here and you'll be subscribed. Hit the bell icon just below the view screen down there and you'll be notified of our next video upload for your viewing pleasure. So until we see you again on Monday, have a great afternoon and God bless. I'll